Well, let's get off onto the most pressing thing right now, and that's an iguana hunt in southeast Florida. Our guide's name was Harry, and uh, he's pretty good. We were uh, mostly hunting in canals and under bridges in some very exclusive subdivisions. Homes were a million to five million dollars each, and the homeowners did not want this invasive species there. Uh, they tear up their docks, they tear up their yards, and uh, the, the state doesn't want them and offers a bounty on them. We gave any bounties to our guide, but uh, they were tearing up underneath bridges too, the foundations that you and I would drive over. So this is uh, one of those destructive critters, and we enjoyed the hunt. It was hot, 102 degrees. You needed a pretty good straw hat. And I don't know if you know anything about straw hats, but you dip it in water and you put it back on and it's cool. Last about 20 minutes, you gotta dip it in water again. I'm, uh, I'm working here on, well, I think I'm working for you. Uh, I've come up with this company called uh, CV Life. And uh, here's a scope that's six by 24 by 50. And uh, you know, it's got the AOL on the front. It's got a focus here on the back. It has all of the ranges clear up to 24 here. It takes the uh, uh, small battery here so you can have a, a green or a red set of crosshairs. And uh, the scope is adjustable here and here. This scope CV tells me is something in the neighborhood of about uh, 50 or $60. And if we uh, sign some contracts, uh, they're gonna let you have it for 15% off of that. So that's, that's about seven and a half dollars off of 50 or 60. That's a lot of scope for that much. Uh, I've got to test it, make sure it's good. And then I'll let you know just how you can get that discount. Well, let's get down to Southeast Florida where that iguana hunt's taking place. Well, welcome to Dr. Russ Air Rifle Adventures. We're on uh, Lake Ida right now. This is in Southern Florida. We're not in Southeast Michigan. We're in Southern Florida. And we're on an iguana hunt. Paula, Dr. Paula, she's already shot the first iguana. And uh, we're fortunate enough to uh, have uh, Zach Matthews with us. He's president and founder of Ares. And he's responsible for us having and trying these Huben air guns. My goodness, I consider this the best air gun I've ever had in my hands. And in the very back, in the blue shirt, <laughs> is Harry. Harry is our guide today, and he's done a good job. We've already nailed about, what, five, five iguana? Five, six. And uh, so we're, we're off to a very good start. We're shooting 25s and 22 calibers, and uh, neither one seems to have much trouble with these uh, iguana. We're shooting JSB Heavy Kings, and uh, <laughs> they really do a number. But anyway, enjoy the hunt with us. This uh, Lake Ida is surrounded by beautiful homes. The big ones are around $5 million, and the smaller ones are $1 million. We found that, uh, boy, once this action starts with these iguanas, it, it's fast. They're moving from tree limb to tree limb, and it helps you if you keep your eye on him right as you bring the scope up and, and see the, uh, uh, the iguana in the scope, rather than not doing it that way and trying to find him. You just never will. Uh, we're also uh, using a semi-automatic. Uh, Harry said that's the first time he's seen semi-automatics out here. He's often taking people with uh, bolt actions, lever actions, pump actions. Uh, but they've got to have a headshot. They will not die with a body shot. 
and they don't have that big of a head. Uh, the males are very colorful under the neck. We're hoping to get a trophy and, and mount him. Uh, they'll run four to five feet. We've already shot a couple of very nice ones. Just starting to turn color under their, their throat. But uh, aside from the fact being very, uh, aside from the fact that the sun is very bright and it'll probably hit 100 degrees today, we're having a blast. So Dr. Paula is watching this yellow grass bank. Harry, our guide, tells us that often these small lizards called Jesus lizards come running out of them and right across this water. They run on the top of the water. They're very difficult to shoot. They're very fast. And uh, I just wanted to have this camera on just in case one took off for us. We at least catch him on film. Have you seen one yet, Dr. Paula? I sure haven't. Nope. On the on the deck. Big ones on the deck. But when we have a house behind it, we just can't shoot it because we'd hit the house too. All kinds of wild wildlife here in Florida not just iguanas but it's the uh, invasive species that want the uh, python and the uh, wild boar the iguana I think the nutria too they want them out they're paying a, a bounty not to us but to those who are licensed to do so He's pretty brave. He steps right on off into this stuff. You never know what's going to be in there, but now that's what the beautiful green iguana and a large musk shell. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Paula, what have you got there? This is a snail and the eggs come out of it and they attach to different places around here and they're pink, but those are poisonous. Oh. And there's special birds, Harry said, that come and eat those um, eggs that are on the walls. Without a problem. But humans cannot. Hey, if they're in South Georgia, I eat them. Well, we, we just crossed under that bridge and uh, uh, really had to duck low to miss it. Now, something important here is st sticking to the bottom of these bridge beams, these pink snails, that's what comes out of those big uh, uh, sh shells. Boy, you can see quite a few of them in there. kinds of waterfowl here. Well we got a little iguana right right down here on the left side that we're about to retrieve. He's probably a foot and a half tail to nose. He is dead right now. We think he's dead right now. Zach, why don't you go down? Zach? Go ahead. Zach, why don't you go get him? I didn't pick up a few of them. Sure, <laughs> yeah. All right. This ball, this is... There it is. There we got him. Nice headshot. That's what you've got to do. Okay, here's Zach shooting one. All right, I, I killed the one up there. I just shot him. Damn. There he goes. Oh. Now, do it again. You got him. But I don't think he's dead. I couldn't. 
between the two um, well we got an iguana we think we have an iguana in the middle of this stuff he was hit at he? least twice Harry's got a couple more that we shot up underneath this this bridge. Oh, I think you got one, and I think Zach got one. Oh yeah, we got one over there too on the other side. Well, I don't know how many we've shot today, but we've shot a bunch. Okay, we've got a sand berm here, but. Two nice iguanas taken off of this. Uh, these boys, are they still alive, Harry, or no? Uh, they might be a little bit alive. Is they're picking their heads up. Be careful. Sorry, no, I'm in your way. Oh, there we go. They, uh, they were digging holes here in the side of this berm, and that's why they are so hated in the area. They're digging holes. He's still alive? Uh, when, they, when they hold that head up, I think they are. Well, this is definitely not the green one. This is definitely always green on the bottom, that's for sure. And look at those five fingers. Dr. Palmer, what? he seemed to be ducking on that other side of the boat when he walks by. Yes, I don't want him to touch me with it. Like medium size. Yeah. Good for you to eat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Paula's got to <laughs> fix them. Heck no. And, and then uh, that means I have to touch them. Here's Mikey right here. <laughs> <laughs> This is a small one, but uh, let me get a close up here. Oh, yeah. uh, he's still, he's still a little bit alive. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I see at least three. We finally got the one that we've come for, but he's going up and over. How many times? I, I know, know I hit him. Oh, I know I, don't I hit know. him. There's Another some one right tree. There's some, in that tree up there. There's some big ones. There's some big ones. good time and the company we, we don't get paid or free trips or anything for this from promo but they did a nice job for us to my left is uh, Zachary Matthews of Aries he's the one that provided these unbelievable guns to my right here is Harry from uh, South something South, <laughs> South oh, Florida outfit or so he knew right where these iguanas were. I'm glad we didn't get one of the four or five footers because that would have cost another three, four hundred dollars to have him mounted. But I think we all had a, a great time. I want to thank Harry and uh, Zach both for just all making this happen. Well, we had a great day hunting iguana. I think we got one catfish also. And one thing for sure is we had a lot of fun. I'll give you all the details. But uh, for the moment, if you can, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, certainly leave a comment. I'd like to see every one of you come out here and have the fun we had today.